Hi friends. Yes, I know. A lot of things are happening right now. I have my hair up in a towel because I just washed my hair. I am in my pyjamas. You're welcome. You most likely will hear a really horrible sound. I don't know if you can hear it now, but it's the wood of a tree is rubbing up against a fence. It sounds horrible. But I really wanted to do this video <laughs> and I thought this would be the perfect time. So I don't know if you know, but there's this book that everyone claims makes them cry like horribly sob. Now I am the most easiest person to make cry in a book. I get up all in my feels and that book is And Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer by Frederick Buckman. Now my experience with Buckman, I read uh, Anxious People, sobbed. I sobbed reading that book. It was beautiful and I, uh, this most likely will happen again. I think this will hit me even more so because I believe it's about a grandfather who is kind of battling dementia and that is something that hits me. So I thought tonight, this is only a, it's a really, really short book. It's 76 pages and it's a, it's a small book. I thought I'll just record my reaction reading this. I don't know when you'll see this, but I just thought this one might be a fun little thing to do. I'm going to read you the synopsis so we all know what's happening. Grandpa and Nola are sitting on a bench in a square that keeps getting smaller every day. The square is strange, but also familiar, full of the odds and ends that have made up their lives. Grandpa's work desk, the stuffed dragon that Grandpa once gave to Nola, the sweet smelling hyacinths that Grandma loved to grow in her garden. As they wait together on the bench, they tell jokes and discuss their shared love of mathematics. Grandpa recalls what it was like to fall in love with his wife and what it was like to lose her. She's as real to him now as the first day he met her, but he dreads the day when he won't remember her. I'm already going to cry. Sometimes Grandpa sits on the bench next to Ted, Noah's father. Ted, who never liked maths, prefers writing and playing the guitar, and has waited his entire life for his father to have time for him, to accept him. But in their love of Noah, they have found a common bond. Grandpa, Grandma, Ted and Noah all meet here in this peculiar space that is growing dimmer and more confusing all the time. And here is where they will learn to say goodbye, the scent of hyacinths in the air with nothing to fear. Okay, I'm going to be in for a crying fest. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm going to take off my glasses. Let's just get to reading. And I'll tell you, and I'll update you, I guess. Okay.
listen to this. Grandpa always says that the years will allow them to meet in the middle, when the boy's thoughts expand and grandpa's contract. tissues.
so yeah <laughs> give it a read it's super fun <laughs> is definitely a book that I think every time you read will you will find more and more that you relate to it's beautiful it's beautiful and funny and so sad and there's I'm gonna cry because there's so much love this is 70, how many pages was it? 76 pages of love. What it means to love. <laughs> yeah. So I look, I look a time, then I, this was really, I don't know, I, I don't really know what to say other than this was something that I think everyone should read. Um, obviously though, read it at a time that is good for you. Take care of yourself first. I know that I'm also quite sensitive at the moment. My mental health kind of took a bit of a dive, but this was both like, yes, I, as you saw, I cried, <laughs> but it's also comforting in a way. To love like this? Oh my god. Wow. Truly, wow. Um, I'm now going to go and reevaluate my entire life and also go cry with my mum. <laughs> this was beautiful and just wonderful storytelling. Five stars. This was just truly spectacular. So, Frederick Bachman yet again makes me cry. Oh God, I can definitely understand why people love this book so much. But anyway, thank you for reading with me. Um, I'm gonna go hug my mom. <laughs>